Um, well, I'm Shanice um, Thomason. Um, I go by hair by Aoki. That's like my hair name. Like people know me by the name. But um, I um, decided to do Beyond the Chair because I just think it's like other ways to make money and expand your brand and do other things like instead of just being behind the chair. There's so many other ways to make money. And I just felt like it should be a networking event, like at least monthly, not just for hairstylists. I mean, it seems like almost everybody here is hairstylists, but not just for hairstylists, like, you know, people in the beauty industry, period. You know, like, you know, stylists, clothing stylists, um, makeup lines, just hair, um, you know, um, hair lines, just any kind of way that you can just make extra bits because it's so much money to be made in the beauty industry. And I mean, you can't really get to the next step unless we all help each other. And I mean, Willa has an education channel. Um, she does a makeup line. And there's so many ways, you know, we're trying to teach people how to, you know, get to that next level. And I mean, like how we built our business, like Queen Virgin Remy, you know, we own Queen Virgin Remy. So we built our business without a face. And that's how really we became so successful because it's not a face on it. So um, we started like in 2012. We really like started like selling out of the trunk in 2011, but we opened our first flagship store that's on the next street over, like in 2012. And I mean, it's just been like a, a easy road because we started like when there wasn't like many people in the game selling hair. So we built that business to be 10 million in one year. 10 million. So it's it's close to like roughly to like 20 million now. So it's, it was like it's been like. The last few years, like the last year, it's been kind of like a hard road, but I mean, because so many companies out now, but it was like an ease to get in there. So, I mean, I do hair and I've been doing hair since I was 13. So, I started doing hair and then I just knew I wanted to do something more and I wanted to make more money. And so, I just started selling hair and it was easy. I mean, I found like different distributors like online and then I met my partner and who I'm part still partners with now, and that's um, McKinley. And we just took it to another level and we are now like well 12th store now that opened yesterday in Memphis so it, it, it's kind of been a hard road this last year but it was really easy to like just get in there and like make money and that's why I felt like I want to help people like do the same thing help stylists because I started like flipping the hair it was an easy flip like for like $200 and I did a flip and I included the hair in with my sew-ins and it was it was easy I did it for $200 and I wasn't worried about getting the clientele because I targeted college students and it was just an easy flip and within like two days I had made like maybe a thousand dollars like off maybe a couple clients and I just flipped and flipped and flipped and it's just been easy and my daughter she's 20 right here and I mean, she just, she helped me along the way. And now she's starting her own. She has two businesses that she's doing that herself. So, and she's only, she'll be 20 in June. So I just wanted to, you know, like help other people, like learn how to do the flip, learn how to make extra money and, you know, network and connect doing the same, you know, at the same time. And, you know, I kind of mentor a lot of stylists too. Like I used to manage Amaya Scott. I used to manage Perez. And like, I'm kind of like behind the scenes. I never like, like put myself out there. I, I managed um, Japan Styles and he's now just like really like getting out there. And I don't know if y'all heard of him. He works in my salon this month in Columbus, Georgia. So like I've mentored a lot of people and I've helped a lot of people like get to like a point in their life like where they're doing bigger things and I just think it's easy you know it's an easy way if everybody connect together and you know like work together like especially as women you know right. you know we can get to get rich together and I want to help people get rich because it's, it's really an easy process you just have to learn like to spend what you you know what you put in you know so I think it's just a, a good thing we're connecting you know and you know helping people get to that next level so but I'm waiting on Willa, so whenever she get here, we can, you know. Oh, there she is. So. Hey. Um, I just gave my little speech, so I'm going to let you talk. Everybody knows Willa, right? Yeah. Willa Collection. Um, um, she has the education channel. And in I'd say in July, I should have a school open here in Atlanta. So we're going to work together with that too. Um, well, my main thing is I try to teach marketing every chance I get. Because I notice that, you know, traveling so much and I kind of like see a lot of, I meet a lot of like talented stylists and I think that the only thing that they lack is how to present their work and how to market themselves. So I'm really big on when it comes to like telling everybody how to 
basically market yourself because like the industry is changing every single day. You know, not only for us but for artists, for rappers, any anybody. Like right now, I think that they're even having a hard time with getting people to purchase I like item um, records. You guys know that albums. albums. So what happens is people not purchasing albums. We're really losing jobs if you pay attention to it because there's nobody gonna hire a stylist. The last person hiring stylists, I think, was like Nikki, mm -hmm. a couple people. But because they're not selling albums, that really kind of affect us. And I think that even the artists now are trying to figure out ways to brand themselves. They have to wake up and say, "Hey, nobody's buying albums. You can't go on tour all the time." So you'll see a lot of celebrities, or even some of the biggest rappers, they find ways to brand themselves with liquor, clothing. We have the same advantage. The problem is because we're so busy with our hands and we're always in the shop, we lack in brands. A lot of talented thousands. You can brand yourself with um, your work. I know a lot of people. I mean, everybody's hairdressers? I just got to shit out my edge control. <laughs> okay, so you got your edge control? That, that's a good example. Um, we do have a thing with the Education Channel. Well, the Education Channel is pretty much where a lot of sauces we try to get together and we put the techniques together. It kind of help you guys through hair school. Hair school don't really teach you. I don't know if y'all had a hard time in hair school. I learned nothing in hair school. <laughs> <laughs> it's so important. If you don't start branding yourself today, it's going to be too late if you wait. Because now, I know a 17 year old, but well, he's 18 now, he's, he's taking over at 18. You know the fear that is for people who've been in the industry for years, you're like, dang, this, this, I think Jalen's 20 can open a salon. So you sitting back looking like, what am I doing wrong? I don't, you know, is it, but it's never too late. I'm not saying that to say, oh God, you guys waited too late, but it's never too late to bring yourself. The best thing to do is start now. Like from this day forward, start now. And we teach a lot of like classes on how to like, do the perfect bob, but what's, what's the purpose if I can't teach you how to present it to your people? What's the purpose if I can't tell you how to market? You know, don't make no style, don't mimic. I know a lot of people in the industry, they, they seem to mimic people. Make everything your own. If you're gonna do a curl pattern, that's gonna be Shanika curl pattern. And from that day forward, you start, that's another way of branding, start naming your stuff. And so that when you're traveling, they're gonna go, Chicago, I wanna, wait, what's your name? Nikki curl, you know? That's another way. People are going to know you by your curl. And it's not like you didn't, you invented that curl, but that's what's going to make you you. So you can you start from branding without even having, you know, edge control. Start from your work. And then how you present yourself, meaning social media. Social media can make you millions of dollars. If you're not on there cussing everybody out. I mean, we all have our moments, but <laughs> you want to, but really, is that going to pay you cussing somebody out? What's going to pay you? If you post your work, if you're posting your the stuff that you're selling, that's the only thing. If it don't make money, it don't make sense. And I tell people that all the time. And then I tell people, you're really not making money unless you're making money in your sleep. So yelling at everybody on Instagram ain't going to make you money in your sleep. It's going to be hard to lose. You're going to lose a lot of friends. Don't really care if you don't like me. Okay. You know? And if they're really your friend, they're going to support you. At the end, they're going to be like, you know what? She was trying to do something to better herself. So they might come back around, but if you lose them, you lose them. And that's just a part of business. Like, you're not in business really to be everybody's friend. You, you got to, like, look out for you. If your friend be like, I mean, I have people who do the same thing. If you do the same thing, okay. Just know I'm going to try to do mine a little quicker, you know, just to be at a whole other level. But you can't, you can't worry about what the next person is doing or who's going to be upset because you're doing this or who's going to be bothered by it. You got to do what's for you. And you got to start today, right? Y'all going to help me? Y'all going to start today? <laughs> yeah. And other social medias, I know a lot of people focus on Instagram, and I know a lot of people focus on Facebook. But when I started noticing, I, w I was always wondering how did Walmart get their name? Because there was no social media, you know? there was no way to, to advertise and stuff like that. But their brand lasts a lot longer versus people who depend on social media and other ways to market yourself. You got to think, what if social media crash? So start getting yourself a website and attracting people to your website, then let them find your social media. Because that way, if something ever happened to your social media page, a lot of people get their social media page deleted, da 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 da, -da you already attract them to that website. So you want to continue to do that because we cannot, honestly, we can't depend on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, YouTube. Even if you don't have no followers, post on YouTube. Post on YouTube, post on Facebook. 
I do all my marketing myself, and I probably drive myself crazy posting every morning, but I don't miss a beat. Five o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna post something. But there, now that there's apps, there's apps like Hootsuite. Y'all ever heard of Hootsuite? Hootsuite will allow you to set up your posts for the days of the week. That way, Hootsuite. Hootsuite. I'll tell everybody, I'll tell everybody to get you Get you that app. If you can't, if you can't figure out how to promote on Facebook and Instagram at the same time, they allow you to post set tweets and set posts on Facebook and Twitter to advertise to your your followers. H O T T H O T T S U I T E. Yeah, it's free. It's not. They're not going to charge you for it. But along with that. You want to attach your website with every post. If you're going to post your hairstyle, you want to post your hairstyle. And get you a Facebook fan page. You know, everybody got a Facebook fan page? I don't know. Use it. That's where the money Like Facebook can help you get a lot of money. Facebook even has it where if you have a particular post that you want to market more, they're going to allow you to attract real followers. It's not like, you know, Instagram allows you to get fake people, but Facebook will put it in a particular area that you want. So if you want a certain age range, if you want between 18, 24 it's gonna say hey between 18 and 24 and they're gonna post it and then they're gonna target in that area and it's like a spot you ever go on Facebook and you see this stuff just scrolling yeah. down they allow and it's only like $22 it's like reasonable do that if it's your hairstyle because you don't know you're gonna get people from Chicago face that's how I got started I got started from Facebook I know a lot of people probably heard that story I post one red style from there it kind of like changed my whole life a Facebook post so that's why I like I try to go back to Facebook but I didn't have I didn't have the I didn't know about attracting them to a website. I didn't know about you know making money. I just had a lot of followers on Facebook, and I was kind of confused. My first year, I was like, why is these people? It's still kind of scary because I'm like, why is they like? And they would just say whatever, and I'm like, they are serious. They really want me to go to California. And then I had this person, you know, not I was really young. It was like, oh yeah, girl, we're gonna take you. And they did that, and I was just like amazed. But I I had to stop because I was like. This ain't making no sense. You're gonna take me all around the world, but you're not giving me nothing to offer these people but my work. When I could have been all around the world offering them hair, I could have been branding myself with something else. And see, that's when I was like, it's not worth it if you're not set up properly. Definitely. You can get sick, you get hurt. Perez, because Perez don't do hair, but he's sitting in the branding class. Why? So he can pass it on to his styles. Right? That's that's real leadership. You know, you gotta go out, learn, take it back. Take it back to your area. So that way he can he can even direct his stylus a little better. He's gonna be like, look, you know, get on it. But even with being a salon, like keep teamwork. But these 30 days, y'all need to clear, clear your mind, right? Clear your mind. Don't worry about what nobody say. Cause right when it's time for you to really get to that level, you're gonna get attacked by everybody. It could be your own family, it's gonna be the person down the street, it's gonna be the person at the gas station. Just an example, and you're not gonna know how to intake that, and it's gonna kind of discourage you. So even if you have to separate yourself from everything. But that's and you could be de you're destined for greatness. So people are gonna attack you even more. I had to learn that the hard way. I was like, what? Well, you know, what am I doing? Different. But that's because when people can see what you're about to do or what's what's gonna happen, they're gonna do everything in their power to stop. So even if you have, if they're not your real friends, and this don't help you find out who your real friends, honestly, because real friends are gonna support you. Real friends are gonna be happy with everything that you do. Anything that you do, they're gonna always support you if it's your real friend. So separate yourself from people that you might feel that can possibly be negative. Then you're going to go through your pictures and you're going to, even if it's on social media, get your best work. Your best work. Ten pictures of your best work. Clean them up. Make sure they face on, they face on point, their teeth on point. If you got a logo, get your logo. If you need a website, there's Vistaprint. Y'all know Vistaprint? It's $10 to get a website. Wibbly. Get your little website. Get your, all your information lined up. The name that you use for your Instagram need to be the same name that you use for your Facebook. And the same name, the same name you need to use for all your social media. You know why? Because if you blow up, now I'm stuck with Ms. Willowell for the rest of my life. Right? I hate it. But overnight, that's the name that carried on. That's going to be the name that is going to stick with you. Make sure your name is unique, professional, and it's not like that babe, boo, thing, babe, daddy, <laughs> chick right there. All that stuff. No. None of that. Just make sure that Cause you never know who's watching. I follow a lot of the up and coming people and I'm inspired by them. I, all the people that you see me post, most of the people you've seen me post, if they wasn't up and coming, they were 
and then they kind of went to the next level. But I like the drive of you guys because I can see that, and I like to see progress, and people from the outside like to see progress. So don't think that everything is going to be perfect. If you learn something new, let it be known that you learned something new. If you took a branding class, let it be known that you guys, I just finished a branding class. I even like, ooh, I want to go to her because she might know how to do that. Da, 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 da. And don't, don't always educate yourself in all different types of them. Don't just take black people classes. Take Spanish people classes. Take Chinese people classes. They do amazing bobs. Have you ever seen a Chinese yes. person put a bob? Yeah. You would be like, what? Now imagine you doing that to some weed. You would stand out. So don't limit yourself. You definitely want to learn from all different types of people. I mean, why <laughs> Okay. Tara's staring at me. I'm going, what? Okay. Okay. Girl, I'm learning like everybody else. Okay, hold on. That's so sweet. Y'all don't understand that, like, that's just what I do. Like, you know, everybody in here, supportive. there's always something that you can learn from somebody. It doesn't matter how high of a level you think that they are in yeah. this game. Um, I'm never too old in this game or too better than anybody to learn from somebody yeah. else. I've learned, we did a class, uh, brought up other time. I was watching her teaching technique. Uh, with Willa, I'm always learning from Willa. Like, you know, she always saying, you know, big brother, this and that. But, you know, I look up to her. At the end of the day, I don't care what I've done and what I've accomplished in my life or my career. I look up to Willa and I pray, you know, I don't say praise. I, I give her so many props because this is a woman with her three kids and she has her own life, but she spends her time on that internet. She's a marketing genius. Like she, and I'm sitting here listening to her about the 30 day plan. She was trying to tell me on the phone the other day and I kept oh, yeah, saying, you giving girl, let me do, I gotta go do this. And she's like, Terrence, I'm trying to tell you. Like she yeah. always like that. She I, stay on me and she tell me what I need to do. I tell people too, like I dissect everything. I dissect everything you do, but and then you want to get hashtags. Let's go back to the third because I, you know, I'm off topic. But get yourself some set hashtags. You never know how hashtags can make you stand out. Like, I search through hashtags all the time. I find a lot of talented people through hashtags. Hashtags is going to draw people to your area. When you're in, you're in Savannah, Savannah stylists need to be in your hashtag. Because somebody, this celebrity's got to come to Savannah and don't got nobody to do their hair. So guess what they're going to do? They're going to go through the hashtags and search hashtags. So create you 10 set hashtags. Throw a couple celebrities in there. If you think you want to do Rihanna, and if people go, well, I want to be a celebrity stylist, you got to live that life. If you if you got to tell them, you got to shoot a little out a little bit, put a little dab on it, they don't really care. <laughs> but if you're the celebrity, you're a celebrity stylist. If that's if that's the lane that you want to go in, you know, live it. Because I think until you get yourself that title, you're never going to try to reach to be at that level. So if you're a celebrity style, that celebrity can be looking, for, looking through the hashtags and trying to find different celebrities. So... Hashtags, if you're going to be on social media, you're going to use that same hashtags. But definitely get that app because you want all your stuff to be posted at least 10 times a day. If you're going to start off. 10 times a day. I know you're like, Daniel gets tired of me. They're not your friend and they get tired of you. Right? Because clients ain't going to get tired of seeing hairstyles. My people live, they just sit there and probably wait for me to post a hairstyle. They're like, ooh, she finna post. You know, and then he's like, well, I post a picture myself. They don't like it. <laughs> My girls like they don't even know what you look like. They just care about hair. But people ain't gonna never get tired of a nice hairstyle. And then you know, making your making your clients feel look pretty. You know, give them a back, front, side. Don't put down that like music. I'm not really a fan of music on your um your work because it can sometimes it can hurt you. It's nice to hype them up if you're gonna do a little promo video, but try to like tone that down some and keep it keep it professional. Because if you're really gonna get a job with Paul Mitchell, they might turn around, you know, just because we got Nikki on it, you know, saying whatever she said, or throw Beyonce, or throw some more, whatever that song is. Beyonce, I don't care, honestly. but <laughs> don't, don't move beyond. But I'm saying, just be careful with the music and the stuff that you put on there. Um, how you present yourself is so important. Keep yourself professional. You know, if you if you drinking, don't post all that you're drinking. If you're drinking every weekend, don't try to not post it. Make your drink cute if you're going to post it. <laughs> I mean, like, don't just show I've got a bunch of drinks over here. Try to be careful because people are going to be like, well, I know she go out every weekend. She drink a lot. She can't do my hair. She's going to be late to work. Mm -hmm. When your salon's full, post when your salon. Everything is a mark. I want to post right now. You know, every time you get a chance, you've got to mark. If your salon's full of people, you post that. Make them do commercials. They, they be mad. Just say, give me 10 minutes. I just jammed your hair. Give me a little commercial, say the name of your salon, and keep them. Even if you don't post them, you never have enough pictures. I can post pictures from four years from now because I took so many pictures. Save them. Just keep taking pictures, taking videos, da 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 
and then start from this like if you're interested in teaching like say Perez like he got a couple spouses in there the best thing for him to do is start making them do little videos of them doing the style giving them a little sample because when Perez is ready to do a class they're gonna be like well I know when I go on Perez salon page they're, they're kind of teaching of course I'm gonna come to their class but if you ain't never gave them not a good bit of nothing you think they're gonna come to your class right no so you you got to start introducing them early like just don't teach all what you do but give a little bit a lot of people hold it in because they're afraid of it's a blessing when it's a blessing for God you not you can't feel like you're gonna lose it or you can't really worry about what the next person gonna do with it because you're doing what you're doing with it so even if you gave it to somebody they still got to figure out how to do what you did to get to where you at so start just give them a little piece of something and I think a perfect stylist profile should be your work, right? Should be you, you teaching, should be like salon maintenance, meaning how beautiful your salon is, people like that, that's gonna attract people. And then, you know, give them something personal. But definitely, don't forget to post your work. Because it's one thing to be famous and nobody likes you for what you do. You know, so you definitely wanna keep it about what you do. Never forget what, so even if you guys blow up today, you can never stop doing what made you because if it all fails, then guess what you're going to have to turn back to? Oh. Hair. Hair's going to bring you money no matter. We got like the best hustle. We ain't got to count it on. We could lie a little bit on our taxes. They don't really know. So <laughs> it ain't like you got to clock in or somebody. You can make as much as money you need or want. That's why I don't like me not doing hair. It bugs me because I'm like, man, we in the shop in Florida. You do 30, 30 people is going to be there when you walk in the door. 30 people. 30 people. They, it's so bad that sometimes they have to take numbers. Like we used to do so much hair, but we would get home at 10 o'clock because we built a system. The system was definitely help you. You have somebody wash, prep, braid, and don't be afraid to get an assistant. I know it's scary sometimes to hire people. I've been through that where you have to worry about what the next person do. Just don't give them all. Like, you know, a lot of us, we're so careless, we just like, do this for me. No, be careful what you tell them to do, but get an assistant because assistant is going to help you make more money. If you had somebody to prep your clients, because a lot of people want to just get out the salon and just go so if they got a way if you got a way to give them a nice style and still provide them with a great service and fast they're gonna love you so get yourself an assistant a lot of people are in school they don't mind helping for free you know you can find your little cousins working them for twenty dollars <laughs> I don't know how much you pay but get yourself an assistant so that you can look polished somebody's cleaning up after you your station stay clean and then your work you know you can just come to work with it so y'all gonna set up your profiles you're gonna market what Ten times a day. All right. Then what you can start doing, um, introducing yourself on some of these popular pages. Like, I'm gonna use Perez again. Perez got all these people on his page. He's like, hey, my name is Shalia. I'm in Savannah. If anybody on this post is looking for a stylist, like, I am your girl. Somebody gonna be like, that's nice. Let me check her workout. All right? Cause you don't have to. People feel like in order to make moves, you gotta be away from your location. No, you can do the same stuff from your home and then you start making moves. You can you can reach out to more people on social media than you can just going into Atlanta trying to get these people with a flyer. You ain't even got to pass no flyers. Could you imagine that? There's a thousand people and if you want to go to Atlanta, how many people want to come to Atlanta and do hair? Oh, well, California? <laughs> LA? Maybe LA? I don't know to come here. Really? Yeah, I live okay. here. Okay, you want to come and do hair here? Mm -hmm. Okay, so him, where are you from? I'm from South Carolina. South Carolina. So what you need to start doing is you need to follow an Atlanta stylist, right? And you need to go through who's following them and them other people that you need to follow. A lot of people think I'm going to follow the bigger names. The bigger names is not where the money at. Get all the little people because the little people is who is going to support you. So if you want to go to California, you find a stylist from California and you will follow who the California stylist is. Who's following that California? And a lot of times, them people are looking for styles. So make sure that area you want to go to is in your bio, so they'll know. Okay, he can possibly be thinking about traveling. You ever see a lot of people? They go L.A. They put like, you know, short for Georgia in their bio, so that way.